Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today we're doing uh, one of the barrel-aged beers, which I believe is supposed to be a sour, by Avery Brewing Company out of Boulder, Colorado. It's their Tectum et Elix, and it is a ale aged in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. So everyone out there who is into a little bit of wine barrel aging with their beers, hopefully this will be a good one. Uh, it's 5.5% alcohol by volume. Let's get this going. I, you know, I don't like that they do the foil. I'm sorry, Avery. I don't like the foil, man. It's just a little bit of a pain. Plus, you can probably save the cost. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to. All right. Ooh, super, super clear. Uh, very orangey, almost a little bit of a reddish tinge to that orange. Uh, nice white head to it. Pretty, like, medium-sized bubbles coming up, but the bubbles are coming up very fast from the bottom. Uh, looks very nice. Looks very, very nice. It smells sour. It's got a little bit of that, um, I gotta be honest, a little bit of a burnt hair type note on the nose, which doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna taste bad. Uh, I've had that in uh, sour beers before and they have tasted great. So it's got a little bit of that. It's got a, like this nice funkiness in there. It's got a woody quality that I'm assuming is coming from the actual barrel it was aged in. And you can smell that it's it's sour. Um, not as aggressive as some sours can be, but it's it's definitely there. Which is coming off as like a really, really tart apricot, maybe, like an unripe apricot. It's kind of what it smells like. I don't perceive any sort of wine characteristic on the nose, but let's see if it's in the taste. This is one of the one of those sour beers that you know for sure was not a kettle sour because it has a lot of complexity to the funky qualities um, in the flavor. Um, there is that kind of like unripened apricot characteristic I was saying that I was getting in the nose. There's a bit of a lemony lemony kick to this as well. You get that woody quality at the same time. Um, I, I can't, I don't think I can get the grapes. I don't think I can get the Cabernet Sauvignon coming in the list. I want to, I'm reaching for it. I just can't get it. But mainly what I'm getting from the barrel is, is a woody characteristic, which is good. I mean, this is a nice sour beer. It's not crazy sour like some sours can be, but it's also not kind of under under sour where some people will be like oh that's not really even a sour it's more kind of tart it's medium to medium high on on the the sourness for my you know my own personal scale that i made up in my head good though solid nice it almost has a little bit of a salinity on the finish like kind of salty type aspect it's good I'm making my mouth water a little bit like it should but not giving me that tingling on the sides of my jaws that um, some sours will give you, which I don't really like that, so this doesn't do it, thank you. Um, but there's a bit of a smoothness on it as well, which I'm assuming was, is happening because of the, the barrel aging. So, good job, Avery. This is a nice beer. I would recommend people seeking it out. I've had better sours, but I've also had a lot of sours that are much worse than this. This is solid, this is good. So thank you everyone for checking this out. And as per the norm, go have yourself an awesome beer.